Hey, Joe Gilpin here with Alts Planning and Design. Uh, we're doing a final walkthrough on a brand new project here on the University of Auburn campus here in Auburn, Alabama. This is Auburn's first protected intersection and the first protected intersection in the state of Alabama. This intersection is a transition point between two different facilities, a pair of multi-use paths along Sanford Avenue and Biggio, and also a set of on-street bike lanes along Sanford Avenue. The overall idea for this project was to make the intersection smaller and more comfortable for pedestrians and bicyclists to cross. To do this, we're using protected intersection geometry. I'll walk you through some of the features. Now you also might want to ask us why we didn't keep the bicycle lanes separate uh, through the protected intersection. Why do we bring everyone together? Well, as I mentioned, we do have two uh, shared use paths already, which have heavy cyclist traffic. And this bike lane, if we had kept it straight, uh, you would have had directional bikes going this way, contraflow bikes going this way, and then again, bikes going this way. Now a bicyclist coming down the hill in the bike lane and transitioning into the shared area. Uh, we do terminate the color of the bike lane at the shared area. And we use the detectable warnings on the edge of that to indicate that this is a traveled way and it is not a pedestrian space. So this is the boundary between the two. Drainage was a key consideration in this project. You can see by adding these sort of bicycle escape ramps into the protected intersection, we're disrupting some of our drainage. And so we have an inlet that's specific to the bike area here, and then a vehicle inlet here that's gonna take all of the sheet flow across the, the intersection because the whole thing is super elevated. Now these curbing on the bicycle lanes, uh, this was requested by the university because they did want this to look like it's part of the street. And so part of what we did that was to create a four inch high curb with a beveled edge and that helps pedal clearance. We also pigmented the concrete gray, uh, kind of to more, look more like asphalt within the bicycle area. Each of our corners on this intersection features a mountable truck apron. Uh, this truck apron is actually just an extended gutter pan around the corner with uh, this radius being a 15 foot radius and this being a 25 foot outside radius. There will be, when they finish the striping tomorrow, a white edge line uh, defining the edge of, of where we expect the managed vehicle to move uh, outside of the crosswalk, which will actually go from detectable warning to detectable warning. Now each of these crossings that are combined pedestrian and bicycle crossings are pulled 18 feet back from the, the, the edge of this travel lane here, all the way to here, and that is in accordance with best practice. Now, one of the other unique things about this project is that Samford Avenue is not stop controlled. Uh, there's no signal here either. And so on this main line, uh, we've installed RFBs. Only two of these legs, however, are uh, bicyclist crossings. So we have uh, W1115 bicycle and pedestrian warning signs here. And on the other side, which is pedestrian only, there are the W, uh, just the regular pedestrian signs. And here you have it, a finished protected intersection. I wanted to thank uh, Auburn University Facilities Department for supplying this drone imagery, and we're very excited to see this in action this fall on Auburn University campus.